Hey, Miguel Adorati back here on the CRP. And, uh, you know, if you have the ESPN Plus app, uh, you're in for a big weekend. Uh, they've got fights Friday and all day Saturday with uh, fights in England, uh, boxing-wise, heavyweight action that you're going to want to see. And then, obviously, you have the UFC in the evening. So you can check our other podcasts for details there. But Friday evening in Tokyo, so you're going to want to check your local listings for start times. That's going to be real early in the morning in North America. We get Rob Brandt versus Ryota Murata 2, an intriguing fight for the WBA's world middleweight belt. Murata was the champion. He lost the fight to Brandt last October in Las Vegas. Brandt won a wide unanimous decision. Now Murata gets a chance to win his belt back in Tokyo. Brandt heading into the belly of the beast, so to speak. And uh, Murata, a decorated uh, amateur, highly regarded. And honestly, in uh, you know Tokyo and in Japan, you don't have a lot of action in the middleweight division. So uh, when he made his rise, he got a fast track, and he was put into the world title picture against Hassan Nadar Nijikam. Uh, Nijikam. Uh, and him had a pair of fights that saw him emerge with the world title. So he, well, he didn't win it cleanly the first time. And uh, now he had a, a, a title defense against an Italian fighter, uh, not a, a world-regarded fighter. Brandt, coming off his loss in the World Boxing Super Series, maybe he thought it was an easy touch, but he went to Vegas, making his Vegas debut, Murata was. And uh, he lost the belt to Brandt. Now Brandt giving him the rematch in Tokyo. And what we have is we've got Brandt, a minus 350 favorite to come back from Tokyo with the win. Murata at plus 250 on the comeback. Uh, you can take from that what you want. A lot of people may think that Murata is going to get home cooking in Tokyo, but uh, that may not be the case in terms of the uh, Nick John fights. The first fight was a split decision, and this was one 116-111, 115-112 for Jikum, and then the other judge had a 117-110 for uh, uh, Murata. So weird judging went down there. And then in the rematch, Jikam retired. So uh, he won the belt there. Now in Vegas, he lost to Brandt 119-109, 119-109, 118-110. So, you know, he gets the rematch. What's going to be different? That's a wide card. So uh, we'll see what Murata brings. And if Murata really is going to be a world level fighter, I think the U S needs to get behind a guy like Rob Brandt, Brandt out of Minnesota. He's now world champion with the WBA at 160 pounds. This could be, you know, Canelo's weight class. And, uh, you know, he's in the Demetrius Andre, uh, type of category where, uh, he's a guy who's risen and is at the top of the game here. He's got a belt now that I think Demetrius at one point had. So you're talking about both those guys are jockeying for position. Rob Brandt looking to seal the deal on his world title reign with another win over Rio de Murata, this time in Tokyo. Keep your eyes out on ESPN Plus Friday, early Friday in North America for the broadcast. I'm Miguel Dorati for the CRP.